Hello, today we're going to talk about styles in Excel. Now styles are typically a way to add some visual elements to your workbook and styles are not necessary to change the font and the color of things but styles are the best way to guarantee consistency from sheet to sheet and from workbook to workbook. So we'll just start by looking at this up here. This, this information up here looks like the kind of font which should be pretty huge and centered so one of the things I could do is just format that in the font group on the home tab or I could jump into styles and so that kind of looks like a title to me these are the built-in styles in Excel they are called what it says right here so this is the total style this is the title style now let's go with the title style that's pretty good right I click a button and it looks a lot better all right I could make this a title as well or hey I don't know maybe heading four looks good Notice my, my sheet, maybe that looks better, maybe it's more readable. So those are the built-in styles. This is a pretty typical thing, like on a MOS exam they might ask you to apply a particular style. And the first time you're asked to do this it's kind of tricky because you don't know what they're called, but they're called whatever it says. That's, that's warning text, that's good, that's bad. Those are built-in styles and really what you're seeing there is, really it's just predefined sets of fonts and things like that and alignments and borders all the things you might want to do. Of course you're not locked in, you can make this the title style and you can see it's applied right here, but if you don't like that being purple or whatever color that is, you can, you can make it brown. So you're not locked in, it's just a starting point. And at some point you might think, okay, well let's make that a fancy font or something like that. I, I can't tell you that I think this is a good idea. Um, one of the things you can do is if you might be thinking, well that's not really a great set of styles. Maybe you're right. Maybe you want to grow that font a little bit. But what you can do is once you've formatted text like this, you can save that as your own style. And that's done by clicking on More here under Styles. And you head over to New Cell Style. And you get this really cryptic looking thing. Let me give this a name like a fancy text. That's good, I guess. Click OK. And now if I open up the More Styles, you see there's my fancy text. Um, why would I do that? Well, now if I want to do something like this, I have a new option, right? Now I'm getting consistency throughout my sheet. Now that wasn't a great idea because now I need to expand all the column widths, but I'm going to undo that. But now I've created a style which I can apply all over this sheet. I can apply it throughout the workbook. I can even save these styles and use them from day to day now. Now one of the cool things, let's, let's kind of do that same process again. Let's say I want these to be uh, purple and uh, how about, I don't know, some uh, underlined. This looks awful. Um, so one of the things I can do is I can save this as a style. And I will name it awful because it, it's pretty awful. And uh, so I can now select this range of cells and apply the awful style to it. One of the cool things about styles is that maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I'm like, uh, you know, underlining that probably wasn't a good idea. So one of the things that you can do is you can right click on one of those styles, either the ones that you created or the pre-existing ones, and you can modify them. Now this is not a real straightforward thing. Yeah, it's like, what do I do? Well, you click on this, and then you get a whole bunch of options. And if I wanted to get rid of that underline, that seems like the kind of thing I'd do under the font group. Oh, right there. None. I click OK. OK. And you see what I did is it actually applied to all of the styles, which had that awful style applied to them. Notice that it didn't affect this one. It's because that one doesn't actually have the awful cell style applied to it. But hopefully you can see why that was kind of a useful thing, because sometimes we create these styles, and then we decide after the fact that we want to change them. And if you're implementing styles, then all those changes are going to be applied retroactively. So those are cell styles. I don't really have a compelling reason why you would or why you wouldn't use them. But if you're learning Excel, you should know about them, and now you do.